summarize feature in Microsoft Word. My name is Glenn Moses. I run MrMoses.org and I'm an online curriculum specialist and teacher. Auto summarize is something that a lot of people don't know exists within Microsoft Word. As the name would suggest, it will auto summarize text that you have in any Microsoft Word document. We're going to take a look at how I use it and we're going to take a look at a way for how you can get students to use it. So let's go do that now. So say I've got this very large document, you notice it's 53 pages on charter school and virtual school law in the state of Idaho, and I don't want to read this whole thing. You'll notice this isn't a PDF, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the text select tool, click down here, I'm going to hit control A to get the whole document, I'm going to right click on it, select copy to clipboard, and then I'm going to pop into my Microsoft Word document. Notice it pulled the whole document in for me. Now again, I don't want to read all of this. So what I want to do is I want to go up to Tools and I want to go Auto Summarize. There's four different ways you can have your document auto summarized. You can have it hide everything but the summary. You can have it highlight key points. You can create a new document just with the highlights. Or you can insert an executive summary. What I'm going to do is we're going to highlight the key points. I want to read about 25% of this, but you can tell it how much you're looking for specifically. So let's click OK and see how this does. Once we get through the table of contents, you'll notice that this has started to pick up some of the most important parts of this document. Here's a definition for charter, for example. So as you go through this, you'll notice that it hit just the key points. Now with a document this long, I may even want to go as low as 5 or 10%. And you can do that by clicking up here. And it happens live as you click up there. I found this useful for college classes to help me find the important part of, docu you know, of a document. And uh, again, anytime I'm looking at laws or writing about law, I find it to be very useful. Now students can find this to be very useful also. And one of the ways that I've had success with students using this is if I found a reading that I'd like them to do on the web, for example, like an ebook, and it's about freedom of speech, what they'll want to do is they'll want to copy all of this. And this is a very, very long reading, which I usually wouldn't necessarily give to my students in one big chunk. Let's say they wanted to read this, or perhaps another teacher assigned them something this long. So as you can see, what they need to do is they need to highlight it. And then once, they've get, once they have the whole thing highlighted, again, right click, copy, come back to the Microsoft Word document, right click, paste. And this may take a moment, that was a lot of text. And then it's back up to Tools, Auto Summarize. We're going to highlight key points here again. Click OK. We're going to do 25%. Now let's scroll through this just real quick. Now this example is actually even better than the one with the law. As this is pulling out really some great things. The way I've used this with special education students is setting this down as you know as low as they need it, and then as a teacher, if they can come back to me, if a special education student can come back to me with you know even just this information, in the 19th century United States free speech disputes were likely to take place in political campaigns, newspaper broadsides, and public streets, as in the courts. Right? If I have a student who can come back to me and understand that in the 20th century with free speech, this is an important thing. I'm a very happy teacher. Now, the other one of the other features in Auto Summarize, the one that will just pull out a certain part, the hide everything but the summary, is also a very effective tool for special education students, as it gets rid of everything else. So those are just the the ten percent most important parts pulled together right there for the student.
So that's a, a quick overview of how to use Auto Summarize in Microsoft Word and how I use it, how I've used it with students.